This video will show you how image and 3D data are stored in matrix. Also some examples of using matrix in origin, such as cropping image and setting matrix values. Let's first talk about images in matrix. This is a matrix book with one matrix sheet. Choose file import image to matrix. Let's first import 8 images of same sizes into matrix. Click OK, they will be imported into the same sheet. We call them objects. So in same sheet, there can be multiple objects. You can navigate to see bigger image. The book title also shows active objects info. I means image matrix. You can click it to see useful context menus. Let's add another matrix sheet. Let's import two images to this sheet. This time, let's choose two color images. Image thumbnail panel updates to show both of them. The book title reflects this as well. Let's choose View Data Mode. We can see the RGB value of color images. The images in first sheet are black and white. If we turn on Data View, it will show grayscale values. Let's change back to image view. We can zoom and pan in image view to locate a region of interest. For example, this dark spot. Then we can choose the crop tool and drag a rectangle in image. When we resize or move the rectangle, the indexes related to the rectangle will show on status bar for us to adjust the region more precisely. Then you can right-click and choose Create New. A new matrix book will be created for this region of interest. Let's plot a contour graph for this region. It's circle-shaped. We can also plot a 3D color map surface for this region. Then we can press the R key and use the mouse to rotate the graph to see the region from different angles. Let's talk about data in matrix. This is a matrix book with one sheet as well. It is a data matrix. See the D icon. Click it, you can tell there are two objects in this sheet. Let's turn on the image thumbnail. It's easier to tell there are two objects this way. Choose View, Show X, Y. The X and Y values of this sheet will show. All objects in the same sheet share the same X and Y values and dimensions. For data matrix, we can also choose View, Image View to see what the data is like in an image. Let's choose Matrix Set Dimension Labels. In this dialog, you can set dimensions. You can also set the X, Y, and Z labels including labels for different objects. Let's plot a color map surface for raw signal. It's very noisy. Only one peak is obvious. The X, Y, Z labels show as axis titles. Let's plot a color map surface for noise data. X, Y, and Z labels show as axis title as well. The noise looks like a slope. Let's right-click to add a new matrix object. Rename it as raw minus noise. Then right click and choose set matrix values. We can refer to matrix objects by index or name. We want to subtract noise from raw signal, so let's choose mat1 minus mat2. The calculation result shows. We can click the lock and choose Change Parameter to change the formula later. Let's plot a color map surface for this matrix object. Raw minus noise shows as z-axis title. Also, the smaller peak is more obvious. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.